Hey everybody, this is Bonnie Barker with BonnieBayCrochet.com and let me refresh everything to make sure that I am really live with you guys. Thank you for all those comments. It looks like, hold on. Okay, silence of video. Um, golly, there's so many comments already, guys. I'm gonna just dive on into this, I think, and, um, and see where we are. Um, just to let you know, I am still at home in um, South Carolina. Um, and, and enjoying it immensely, being home. It's a little more of a relaxed pace since I'm not on call 24 hours, seven days a week, um, which I don't mind doing that either. Um, but it is really nice, as you can understand, just to have a break. And um, I'm, I'm actually doing, a, still doing my crochet work, but you know, at a little more relaxed pace, enjoying time with my son, Hudson, um, who's getting very close to soloing. I don't know if he's gonna do that this weekend or not, but ooh, if you wanna pray for him, um, he may actually be doing his first solo flight tomorrow. So, and if he does, I'm going to be there at the airport and see what, how that goes. Um, anyway, let me go ahead and just see. There's a lot of people in the chat. I'm just so thankful for you guys. Such an encouraging bunch. I tell you what. Um, we have Jelena and we have Terry Redman from uh, um, SD, California. Um, Kelly Hart. Um, she says she's working, watching from work, um, and Toto 2 grooming shop. So if anybody needs their dog groomed, okay. So a little bit of a commercial there if you have a dog. Don't know where you are, Kelly, but uh, that might help folks to know. Um, and she wants to know, how do I send my crochet pattern picture to you? Um, just check the, e the uh, video description below. Uh, my email address is in there. It's bonniebay at me.com or you can always post on uh, Facebook if you're into Facebook. Um, if not, I totally understand that one. Um, and she also asks, how did the fair go? Okay, I guess you're referring to the picture that I posted of this book and I'm going to be talking about that in a little bit. Um, the fair didn't go very well this year since it was canceled due to COVID, but I just thought it might be a good time to talk about that in a little bit, um, a book that I have, because if you're interested in doing fair stuff, this is the time to think about it and start planning it and working on all those blue ribbon and purple ribbon grand champion projects is right now so that you're not in a rush when it comes, you know, to that season. Uh, let's see. Carrie is in our chat. She's welcoming everybody. Good morning, ladies. And Sharona, um, she says, I always watch the replay at nine because I'm an online, okay, she has an online prayer meeting. Are you aware of the number of ad breaks on the replay? No, I am not. Um, I'll have to look into that. Um, I do know that if you start and stop the video a lot, that there are gonna be additional uh, ads. So like when I'm reviewing the, the notes um, to try to go back and read your comments that I don't get to in the video chat, I notice that there there are a lot, but every time I stop and start the video, I think it kind of uh, triggers something with the algorithm. So if you're starting and stopping it a lot, that could be part of the problem. I'll take a look at it. I promise you, I'm not the one putting in 19 videos or uh, ads, um, but, but anyhow, I will take a look at that. Um, and Amy Jo wants to know, where do I post a picture of something I made using one of your patterns? Again, look at the video description below. I have a lot of contact information down there. Um, if you send it to my email, bonniebay at me.com, that comes right to me. Um, if you post it uh, on Facebook, I will see it. If you post it in other places, and, and listen, I know some of you guys are still on Ravelry. As you know, I'm not on Ravelry. Um, but if you try to contact me there, I, I can't respond because I don't have an account. So if you are trying to get me in other places, you know, just bypass that and just come directly to the source and I'll be glad to respond to you. Okay. And, and don't try posting in my blog. I, I think I turned off the uh, comments on most of those, but if some are accidentally still turned on, don't even do that. Come to my email. I will take care of your question. And if you have pictures to share, um, and, and please, when you share those with me, tell me right away, if you don't mind, you know, say you have permission to share in social media because I love, 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 love to share the pictures that you guys sent to me because that just, you know, instead of somebody new to crocheting, seeing what I've done, um, they see what you've done. And um, I, I'm going to be sharing somebody's pictures this coming week 
maybe tomorrow, um, that sent me three of these beautiful Afghan pictures. And she said when she started crocheting, which wasn't that long ago, she only knew how to do a double crochet and that was it. And she learned everything else from the videos on my channel. And gosh, that made me feel so good. So definitely, you know, if you want, if I have permission to share, just let me know that right away. And then I will share away. Um, let's see, Carrie says, I would like to put a prayer request out here this morning, if possible. Absolutely. Um, says her husband, Chris, woke up with a fever of 103.3. Um, and he is also a dialysis patient for kidney failure. Oh my goodness, Carrie. Yes. Guys, if, if you are a praying person, please, please pray for Carrie. And um, Becky, if you can put that on the list for me to remind me when the chat is over, I'd really appreciate that. Um, and by the way, Becky is in our chat today. She's moderating for us from afar. And um, hopefully we'll have good news to share with you next week. But, um, but she, she's doing really well. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, Brenda Mack is in our chat. She's watching from Pensacola today. Yay, Brenda. Um, travel before it almost became illegal. Yeah, we're a little concerned about that, Brenda. Um, we're in one of those counties where they like to tell you what to do, how to do it, and how long you can do it, which I don't really like. Um, and they're, they're, they're trying to decide. I don't know. They're, they may decide to put us on lockdown so we can't travel to South Carolina for Thanksgiving, which would be a really super mega bummer um, because it'd be going from one quarantine situation to another. Um, where we're going, they're pretty much quarantined, and we're pretty much we're, we're super safe here. Um, but... Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you made it down to, to Florida, Brenda, when you could. Um, and Tammy is in our chat, um, and Carrie's updating us here. After his dialysis, the center and doctor's offices, they had an ambulance come to our home to pick him up. Wow. Not able to go to the hospital with him. Oh, that's right. Our ER is closed down to patients only in this. Okay. And this is Massachusetts. Okay. Carrie, I am so sorry. So you can't even be with your husband. That has got to be hard. We did take Mrs. B to the hospital. This was a couple, well, about a couple months ago. Um, had to take her in for a you know a late night hospital visit, and and it was just so strange and surreal because we were always with her, and and we had to leave her by herself, you know, at the time when they needed she needed us the most. So I am so sorry. We keep you in our prayers for sure. Um, thank you, Tammy. Tammy is praying for you. That is so good, and and Kelly is too. Um, <laughs> Brenda Max says, autocorrect is not my friend. Oh boy, we c I could write a book about that, Brenda. <laughs> Some of the crochet designs I've done and, and just typing the simplest abbreviations. It, it does not like two or two letter abbreviations at all. So I have to turn that little thing off when I'm doing some of my writing. Um, and see, Lynn Morris is in our chat from Val des Mons. Quebec, if I'm saying that right, probably didn't, but that's okay. Welcome, my Canadian friend. Um, and let's see. Thank you for your kind comments, Kelly. And Brenda Mack says, another try. Do you ever use chainless foundation? Uh, honestly, Brenda, rarely. I'm pretty, pretty old school. Um, I have used it some, but it, it for me personally, it leaves kind of a chunky chain there that's like twice as much fabric as what I'm used to when I do my perimeter rounds. Um, so, eh, you know, I, this is, I'm not a big fan, but, you know, I understand the benefits of that. I think what, if, if you don't know what Brenda meant by a, a, a chainless foundation, I think she's mostly talking about like using a, a, a like a single crochet foundation or or other types of things where you where you kind of it's a little tricky. I do have one video on my channel on how to do that, um, but that was just because somebody asked me to. I again I, I don't use that a lot in my designs, um, but then again I don't crochet real tightly for the chain. So if you're a real tight chain, you know, if you if you do a chain real tightly. Um, and have to always bump up to a couple size hooks to do your foundation chain, then maybe that would be something that you would like. Um, I know a lot of people like it for that reason. Um, let's see. 
Oh, that's funny. Brenda says that the, the chat, the autocorrect wanted to change uh, chainless to channels. Oh, that's kind of funny. Um, and Brenda, you may just need to change something in your computer. I think it's more your your computer doing that rather than the, the I don't know. I don't know. I, I That's just my guess. I, I know there's something you might be able to change on your computer to turn autocorrect off and put it in timeout for a while. Um, Thanks for your prayers, Crystal, for, um, for our friend in the chat. That That's really wonderful. Um, and we have Charlotte Bruce from Ohio. And let's see. Lynn Morris says, anyone ever lose their mojo in the middle of a project and then struggle to finish it? Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe. Um, that's what boxes and, and baskets are for at my house. Um, but... Honestly, Lynn, you know, it's okay if you ever want to, ever need to do that. Um, one, one thing I do, I just have so many different things happening at the same time. Um, and having picked up knitting has really helped that too, especially if my wrist and hands, you know, from all the motion just kind of get a little, little tired. Um, I can go over to doing some continental knitting and that really is a re stress reliever. It, it, um, well, crochet is a stress reliever, but um, it's just a lot less motion. And if you have different projects going, you know, like maybe a simple brainless, almost uh, repeat, you know, constant repeat, like a, a baby Afghan or something. Um, and I, sometimes I get bored with that. So I want something a little more, you know, a little more complicated um, and pick up a knitting project. And then if I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, my brain's a little tired on this one, I can put it aside and go back to something a little a little more relaxing. I mean, that's just a, just a thought or even just get up and take a walk or something or um, uh, dare I say, do some housework. <laughs> um, note to self, do some housework. Um, yeah, right. Uh, I am, I have lots of that to do. And actually that's one thing I'm really enjoying being at home. Having been, been in my home in a while, I really, really am enjoying that. Um, and Francis, hey Francis. Um, she says, good morning from New Zealand, nearly 6 a.m. Ooh, you're dedicated, Francis. <laughs> on a lovely Saturday morning, hope everyone is well. For those of you that don't know, there's like a, well, I know in, um, in in Australia, it's like a 16-hour time difference from where I live here in Maryland. So I don't know if that's like a 14-hour difference from New Zealand. It's a lot. I'd have to do the math real quick, but um. Thank you for joining us, Francis. That's a, such a sacrifice to give up your sleep to be with us. But she's such she is such a great contribution to this group. Um, and Kelly says, uh, talking to Lynn, I have done. Well, okay, I'm gonna leave that conversation uh, between you guys, and girls. Um, Barbara Bolton. She says, morning from Alaska. Pitch black here and 24 degrees Fahrenheit. Burr. Barbara, wow, that's right. You guys are in that nighttime part of your your year. Wow, I just loved interact interacting with interacting with you earlier this week. Um, and thanks again for sending that picture. Um, Barbara lives like in a very remote part of Alaska, and her husband is a pilot. I guess a bush pilot, and they have a tail dragger. And um, you know, I was we we're talking back and forth about uh, flying. Uh, this week through email and it was just real interesting to see you know what she said I think I hope you don't mind me sharing this she said she only gets to town like about six times a year and I'm like oh my goodness and, and it being so cold and dark there right now that would be really really tough for me but but more power to you stay warm Barbara stay warm um, I have Jimmy from is it Iverness Scotland if I'm saying that right um, Thank you for joining from so far away. You guys are probably getting near dinner time now. Um, we have Wanda Gordon. Hey, Wanda. Um, she says, hello, everyone, and early happy Thanksgiving. Yes, Wanda, we have a lot to be thankful for. I am so thankful for you guys. <laughs> Just ugh fingers. Yeah, yeah, I'm having trouble with the typing. Yeah, you know, it's really funny sometimes and I'll, I'll do messages and stuff and I'll send it out the door, as I say, when I push go for it to, to send. And, you know, sometimes that um, that autocorrect will change it right as it goes out. And I'm like, no, that's not what I meant. But anyway, um, 
Okay, Lynn Morris and Kelly Hart are having a conversation about something. I'm not sure I, I'm going to dive into it a little bit here. It says something about driving them insane. Uh, one little baby sweater is like, yank out my hair and throw it fit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry about that, Lynn. I have a song coming for you guys in a couple weeks. Um, once my neighbor, hey Terry, if you're watching, um, we're going to have a surprise for you, you ladies and gentlemen. Um, but in the future, keep watching next, next couple weeks or so, um, something might happen on this channel. That'd be a lot of fun. Um, and Wanda Gordon says, feel blessed to be a part of this group. Carrie praying for your husband. Thank you, Wanda. Gee, you, you guys are such, such good examples for me. Um, we have Lucia. She says, um, buongiorno from Scotland. Um, is it Roygio here? But I noticed you struggled with saying that the surname is also wrong, but it's definitely Lucia, and I hope you all are all blessed. Okay. Well, thank you for being patient, um, Lucia. Okay. Uh, let's see. Thank you guys for praying for each other. That is so sweet. Uh, we have Judy. She says, hello, happy Friday from Brazelton, Georgia. Hey, Judy, 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 Judy. Um, and um, Lucia has a question. She says, have a question. Just finished the Celtic cross throw, but not keen on the tassels. Any suggestion what else I could do, please? Hmm. Um, you could add a shell border, or you could, you know, um, I guess my favorite border, in case you haven't figured it out yet, when I'm doing a lot of the cable crochet, it's just the back post, front post ribbing. You know, you alternate front post double crochet, back post double crochet, and then just go around. When you get to the corners, you're gonna have to do like um, uh, two half double crochets, chain two, two half double crochets, every time you get to that corner. Um, otherwise, it's gonna pull inward. So um, yeah, I think that would that would finish. I think I would go with that. I would go with the, the ribbing um, border for sure. Um, I think that adds a nice, rich look to it, and it can be, you know, that way it's not too feminine, and um, if you're giving it to a guy or, you know, or for a family, um, you know, so it's kind of a, you know, neutral to even manly look, in my opinion. Um, hey, Johnny, got, got Johnny here in the chat. He says, hi, Bonnie and buddies. Johnny wants me to call you guys. A long time ago, remember, he sent an email. I said, you should call, call your friends Bonnie's buddies. <laughs> I just may use that someday, Johnny. Um, uh, if I ever, you know, get into into other ventures here, but um, you know, stay tuned. Things are always a changing. And we have David Browning. Hey, David, thanks for joining us today. And Judy, yeah, Judy Quillen. Um, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. I just had a bunch of things jump ahead of me. Hold on a second. I think I finally got through the opening comments. So all these other comments are just, oh my goodness, you guys are prolific here. That's amazing. Um, well, let me go ahead. It's 18 minutes in. Let me go ahead and and talk just a little bit about some things. Um, this is, uh, you know, getting into the Christmas season, um, the, the holiday season, the... Um, going to be celebrating all kinds of, you know, holidays here, um, starting with Thanksgiving, and um, then we're going to have Hanukkah and Christmas and, you know, whatever else you like to celebrate during these, these uh, wonderful times of the year. And um, I just thought you might be looking for some gift ideas, and I have a ton of stuff to show you, but before I do that, maybe the gift giver, you guys are always making stuff, maybe you want something. I just want you to know that my, my Teespring store is, is open. I've got some new designs on there, and I just wanted to show you. You've seen this before. These are a fa few of my favorite strings. And just to let you know, the word llama is corrected in my store. I misspelled it on this one, but it is corrected. It's with two L's. Um, I was doing this very late at night, and my brain was just not in full gear. But I love wearing these things. They're Most of them are cotton, I believe. Um, and I do have, if you're looking for a bag... This one has the no, it's not knit. Remember that Christmas song, um, song to the tune of Feliz Navidad. 
I've been carrying this bag around a while, so it looks a little, a little loved. But um, these are on the channel, I mean, on the, the Teespring store. Um, and just to let you know, I, I kind of priced them down low. I'm not, I don't know that there's a way to run a special on it, but I've already kind of reduced the price significantly. So if you look at other people's Teespring stores, you're gonna see these, these sweatshirts for like $39.99 and stuff like that. Um, mine are priced way lower than that. It's, I think they're around $24.95 or something in that ballpark, depending on whether it's euros or, or whatever. Um, it, it's in that ballpark. I, I kind of brought the prices way down because I'm not here to make a killing. I just want these to be available to people who, who like to wear them. I know a lot of people don't don't wear them and that's fine, but um, I'm a t-shirt, sweatshirt kind of gal, always have been. Um, and I just love it to be able to, you know, to wear my crochet on my shirts. And um, anyway, I know sometimes people will ask me, my kids will always ask me, mom, send us links for something you want, you know, for Christmas. And, you know, if someone asks you, what do you want? You know, send them a link and you know, say, hey, get me this and this size. And, you know, um, just, just to let you know, and, and yeah, you would be supporting our channel just a little bit. And I, you know, I'm thankful for those of you who have, and um, that's a blessing to me. Uh, but anyway, let me show you some other things real quickly. And then I'm gonna get back to the chat. Um, currently, these books are in my Etsy store. Um, this has 24 cable designs. There is, um, I think two of these designs are on my uh, YouTube channel. If you wanted to give them a, you know, give them a run, take a look and see if you like them before even buying the book. Um, but I have this book and this book. I have two designs, I believe. Well, at least this is where the Orle uh, robe sweater comes from is in this book. Um, so these are available, of course, on Amazon and places like that. But if you want an autograph copy, or maybe you have a, a crochet friend who would like an autograph book for them, I mean, I'll be glad to sign it however you want. You just have to let me know um, when, you, when you order it. But I'm gonna have a Black Friday special. If you order um, $20 worth of any of the books on my Etsy store, I'm gonna throw a copy of Winning at the Fair in free. Okay, this, this is also available on my Amazon channel, or on Amazon, but um, so, um, you know, while supplies last, while I, I, have, I have many copies, so I can do this, but um, so starting, hmm, let's see, um, if you guys, if you guys order from my Etsy store, just tell me when you order, I want a free copy of this, okay, just tell me that, um, this is going to go through Good Friday weekend. Okay, from now to Good Friday. There's nothing about it on the Etsy page. Okay, you have to ask. Okay, if you don't mind doing that, ask for this when you when you place your order. Okay, um, otherwise it's just good. That's going to be our secret, just between me and you. If if you order these, and I just wanted to show you what else I have in my store. Um, and again, like I said, free shipping on these these two books only. All right. And of course, if you get this with it, you know, no, no shipping, no, no handling cost. I'm, I'm paying for that. Um, only on those two books. These other books, shipping is not included. But again, if you order $20 worth of, you know, any of these, you'll get the copy of Winning at the Fair. Um, so this is also in my Etsy store. And I have... Um, Again, this has all the video tutorials in here, and many of these are none of these are on my YouTube channel. This is, um, this is these are the private links that you get with a copy of the book. Um, these, all of these um, designs are on my YouTube channel. But if you want a book of all the, you know, the, the written instructions, they're right here in this book. This is a great book for beginner. If you know about people who are. Um, brand new to crocheting and want to learn crochet, I, I highly recommend baby blankets are the way to go. Um, I also have these on my channel. This is just, um, this is one of my very first publications ever. And let's see what else. I have one more thing to show you. Ah, okay, here it is. And I have this in my Etsy store as well. Okay, the self-striping uh, designs, and they have a lot of fun things, a lot of fun things in here, uh, and I'll show you one of my favorites. I showed this to you before. The couple baby blankets, 
Um, I love I love the backpacks. The crocheted backpacks are, are so much fun. Um, there are hat patterns, cowls, and this is where the, the rainbow baby blanket pattern, if you're looking for the, the rainbow um, pattern there that I released recently on my channel. Uh, and this is by far my favorite in here. I, I don't even own one of these. I need to, to get some more of this yarn and make my own poncho like this because all these designs that I made for the Leisure Arts uh, leaflet had to be sent to them and they become their property. So anyway, so check that out if you're looking for something. And um, let me get back to your comments and then I'm gonna go through a whole box of stuff of, you know, the video tutorials are already on the channel. And, and ready to go. Hey, we have Wanda Wyatt in our chat. Hey, Wanda, it's good to see you, my friend. Or, or good to see your comment. And um, Brat's mom, just saying hey to Becky. Um, let's see. Oh, great. Jimmy says, uh, Catherine here from Scotland. Thanks for your help. The other night, my popcorn is now working out well i'm looking great fantastic that is so good to hear catherine um got pat dancer in the chat i don't wish my nose to stop itching uh and kimberly from richmond virginia and hey becky i see you're in the chat thank you for being there and watching over everything <laughs> she said uh, brat mom says hey bonnie brat and i are present and accounted for i found out not too i guess a while back that brat is a is a cat <laughs> i think is that right i think a cat yeah that's pretty cool. You're you're welcome here. Uh, my daughter is a big cat person too. Ooh, wait a minute. We just got five dollars from somebody, from from Tierra. Thank you so much. She says hello from Maryland. I love this channel. I just wanted to show my appreciation. Well, thank you, Tierra. That will be be going in the till for our next song. Um, so um, as you all know, just I'll t make mention of this since it popped up. Um, I don't draw a lot of attention to this, but we do have the super chat available for those who want to do this. I don't push it hard at all, but um, I'm going to be using that for donation to a charitable organization. The last couple months has been Shriners and um, Shriners Hospital for Children uh, because we have a lot of personal connection, um, family members, friends who have been served very well by that organization. I think it's a great organization. Um, so... So whenever you donate to the Super Chat, you are donating to the Children's Hospital. 100% of your donation goes to them. Um, so next, um, for the next, at the end of this month, you know, so far we've got like, well, I guess it'll be $125 now going into that. So, so thank you very much. It is a pleasure and a joy to be able to write them a, you know, just send that on to them every month. Uh, so let's see, where were we? Uh-oh, what happened here? I scrolled up. The whole page moved. There we go. Um, give me a second. Okay, I read those. I'm trying to catch up here. Um, hey, Swati is in the chat. Hey, Swati. She says, happy Friday from LA, everyone. Hope everyone is safe and well. Yeah, I hope you're doing well, Swati. Hope you're enjoying your job and your promotion and you know all that hard work you're putting into everything um let's see do 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 it's just this thing keeps jumping on me um we have rosie from lincolnshire lincolnshire uk hey rosie thank you for joining us probably your meal time there um let's see let's keep it going we have uh Tracy says, can only stay for a few minutes and we'll watch the replay. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, Tracy, even though you may be, may be gone at this point, but hello there. Thank you for joining us and for um, yeah, just joining the crowd here. Um, Kelly Hart says, my sister Patty needs a prayer as she is having a hard time right now because her husband, Duane, has her and his son, Roy. Okay, Kelly. Um, Becky, if, if you don't mind writing that down, sweetheart, uh, writing down prayer for her sister Patty that would be great um, and Johnny says on row 14 of the autumn blanket yay it's going well being unfamiliar with these stitches yeah that is so good to hear Johnny you, you're you're a pro I mean 
you you are an old pro at this. You could probably do what I'm doing. You should probably do some design of your own. Um, you could you would hit a home run on that. Um, and Judy and is it Racine? Um, says hello, Mrs. Bonnie. Uh, in Utah on the road going to Denver. Oh, I love that part of the world. I've not a marked part of the country. I've not been to Utah yet. I want to see Utah, but I love 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 Denver. So looking forward to the CGOA conference next year. I hope I can go. Hope we can all go. It's um, scheduled for Denver. And there's a possibility I'll get to go to Loveland, Colorado later in the fall next year. But, you know, fingers crossed. <laughs> you never know. Hold everything loosely. We have, is it, is it Jayati um, from Dallas? And uh, thank you, Michelle. She says she likes my shirt. Thank you. Um, and let's see, Brat's mom says, Brat and I are present and accounted for. I, I read that one. Yeah, okay. So, da, 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 da. I'm getting caught up, guys. Uh, Marilyn um, from Washington, Louisiana. I didn't know there was a Washington, Louisiana. Wow. There's a lot of Washingtons around. Um, and uh, da, 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 da. let's see, Kelly Hart says, we are in Tucson. You can call the shop, just look in a phone book. And I was referring from the picture that you showed. Okay, thank you, Kelly. Um, we have Amy Park G. She says, hello, getting to know you and your beautiful work. Well, you're welcome, Amy. Thank you so much for joining us. And I hope you like what you're seeing. Um, we have Brenda and Kimberly and is it Teresa? She says, hi, Bonnie, first time um, catching me live. Well, I'm so glad you could. That's, that's so, that's, that's great. Um, uh, also just want to let you guys know, I don't know what, I'm hoping to be here next Friday. I know next Friday is going to be, you know, Black Friday sales and all that. Um, I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't, I don't even know if, <laughs> where I'll be next Friday. Cause if, uh, obviously if our County locks us down, I'll be here. Um, but if not, I'll be in South Carolina and probably be doing some shopping. So, uh, I'm not sure yet. Hold it loosely. Um, I will, I will let you know, um, in the community section, um, but just plan on being here. I'll, I'll plan on being here. Um, but you know, again, just check in with the channel, um, just before, just to make sure. Cause if I have to, I could bump it to Saturday. Actually, no, I can't do that. Cause if I'm down in South Carolina, that's going to be travel day. If I come back, um, uh, well, we'll see. We'll just hold it loosely. We'll hold it loosely, but, um, plan on being here. I, I hope to be here. Um, so we have Angela. She says, good morning, Bonnie. Um, Oh, she says, I look wonderful. Did you hear that, Becky? She says, I look wonderful. That was so sweet, Angela. Thank you. Um, she says, she's so glad to be here. Um, and let's see. Oh, Leslie Oliver says, hi, Bonnie. It's 4 a.m. in Australia. Glad to make your live. Hope you are all well. Oh, my goodness. Leslie, you win the prize, my friend. 4 a.m. and you're watching me? Oh, my goodness. I, I feel like I should send you something, except it would cost me five times what it's worth. To get it to you in Australia, um, thanks for joining us. I, that that is, I'm humbled that that you would get up to do that. Hopefully, it's because you want to, not because you can't sleep or something like that. Anyway, um, Rosie says that gray blanket on the chair is beautiful. Thank you, Rosie. Um, I guess you're talking about this. This is the um, Celtic diamond, Celtic diamond wrap. Um, you can wear that as a you know, as a shawl or a stole. Um, it's on my channel. Just, whoops, it's going to slip off now. Um, check it out. It's on, it's on the, the channel here. If you ever need to look for something you don't find readily, just plug it in that little spyglass question mark thing. And, um, it should bring up the video for right or left-handed, depending on what you need. Um, let's see. Yes, Leslie, Judy says, hi, Leslie, you are devoted. Yes, she is. Oh, thank you. Um, is, it, is it Nathalie? Thank you. That's a beautiful name, if I said that right. That's that's really sweet. Um, she says, I'm the greatest. Wow. Ooh, wow. Thank you, guys. <laughs> You're so sweet. Um, they're making me feel really good today. Um, Angela likes the, the gray blanket, too. Yep, the wrap. Um, and, you know, you could even put this at the foot of your bed. You know how people put those... 
those blankets at the foot of the bed. I mean, you could even do that with it too. I, I might actually try that. Um, but it's, it's a nice little stole. It's made out of, uh, just to let you know, it's the uh, Red Heart uh, Chic yarn. It's 100% uh, superwash wool, merino wool. Um, it's really easy, nice, soft yarn, uh, really nice to crochet with. Um, and reasonably priced, and I think available in a lot, a lot of stores, uh, big box stores even. Uh, let's see, Wanda Gordon. Yeah. Uh, thanks for your prayers, guys. For Becky, just, Wanda says, hope you're feeling, hope you're doing better. Uh, Becky hurt her knee at work uh, weeks ago and I finally went to the doctor and she's been on, you know, kind of home rest um, so she can get ready, get it healed up. And we have, is it, is it Fleur, Fleur B. West? Oh, that's interesting. She's, hi, I'm new to your channel. Well, welcome. That is a very interesting name. Fleur B., if I'm saying that right. Um, it sounds almost, I don't know, Swedish or something. Um, probably because I'm saying it wrong, but anyway. Um, we have Donna Wolfsligar. And let's see. Kelly Hart's wishing everybody a thanks, happy Thanksgiving. And let's see, Eric and Norma says, good morning from Texas. Yay, Texas. Praying for you and your husband, Carrie. That is so kind of you, Eric and Norma. Thank you for, for praying for Carrie. Um, and David Browning says, I was trying to do an Eastern North Carolina yarn meetup on December 5th, but for a number of reasons, including public health, that won't work. It will have to be after the holidays. Yeah, that's fine, David. And it looks like um, my daughter Hannah... I don't know if this is going to hold, but she wants to continue serving Grandma Barker for me throughout the entire month of December. So it, it looks like I wouldn't have even been there if that's the case. So I would have had to cancel too. But but thanks for trying to do that. Um, for those of you who are in the eastern North Carolina, I would even say South Carolina area uh, along the coast there, um, David's trying to get a, you know, a meetup. And if we could do that... Um, if we could do that post COVID-19 vaccines, that would even be ideal because then we could sit with each other and, you know, share what we're working on and get to feel the fabric and everything. So, um, you know, great idea, David. Maybe we just need to defer that. Like we've had to defer everything this year. Um, we have uh, Yote, is it Yote? Or is it Yote or Yote? It's hello from West Virginia. Die Hard Man Crochet. Well, you are not alone, my friend. There are a couple of others who are diehard, excellent crocheters, I may add, um, in this group chat. You are not alone, and and there's nothing weird about that. Uh, some of the most manly people I know, um, one, um, and Becky knows this gentleman, a dear friend of ours in Georgia, um, an anesthesiologist who is also used to be an army doctor, you know, whose other hobbies besides raising his kids and being with his wife are uh, working out and uh, gardening and uh, actually it's more like farming. Um, busy man, smart man, and he crochets and he, he can play Rachmaninoff on the piano. So go figure. There's nothing unusual about a man and a crochet hook. My son Joseph um, picked it up uh, years ago and he's one of these guys that likes to learn how to figure out, understand something, you know? And so he, he made a sock, he made this beautiful sock, but then he, by the time he finished the sock, he got bored with crochet and moved on to something else. So um, yeah, it's, it's cool. Um, and Terry Redmond is in our chat. And let's see, Doo -doo -doo. Uh, and Terry, so Tracy, can we have Trina? She says, I am new to this channel and crocheting, so glad I found you from New Jersey. Hey, Trina. Um, thanks for joining us. One of our moderators, I don't think she's in the chat today, but oh, yeah, she is. Um, yeah, one of our moderators, Esther, is from New Jersey, too. How cool is that? So you got friends nearby um, from the channel. Um, and Amy, okay, Amy Park G says, I'm drooling over the poncho behind you. Are there tutorials for it? Okay. This is, um, there is a tutorial for this poncho. This is called the um, South, is it Alpaca Sapphire or Sapphire Alpaca Poncho. Um, it is only available, let's show you. 
I showed you this book earlier on the cable crochet made easy. It's one of the designs in this book and it does include a complete video tutorial, um, but it's not on the public channel. Um, so, but that, that's where this poncho is. And let me show you something else. Um, in this book, there's the wrap that you see on the front. It's like a stole. You can wear it as a wrap, as a you know, poncho style. And um, there is another poncho in here that I, I've been wearing all week. It got so cold, guys. It was 27 degrees yesterday morning. Um, I was wearing this. I was wearing this poncho made out of the barley um, color yarn. It's a uh, Vanna's uh Vanna's Choice or something like that by Lion Brand. Um, it uses it uses that yarn. It, it, it's an acrylic, you know, easy to wash, dry, whatever. Um, and so I was wearing that one. And this one is actually this is really nice. This is 100% um, alpaca, and it it also is very warm, but it's really nice because it's a natural fiber, breathable. So I can wear that around the house you know, when there's a chill, I mean, I'm inside, I've got two layers, you know, a sweatshirt and another layer, and I'm, I'm just comfortable inside. It's so cold. Um, although today is warmer. <laughs> I've been in South Carolina too long. I've gotten climatized to the South and now I'm back, you know, living, you know, North of the Mason Dixon line. And, uh, it's been a little bit of a rude awakening. And Becky, you know what I'm talking about. We had frost on the ground the last two days and, um, snow was in the forecast yesterday, but I didn't see any, so anyway, or at least none that hit the ground, so that's good. It's okay with me. Um, let's see. Tracy says, before I have to go, could you could I get some prayers from this lovely group of people? Becky, if you could write Tracy down. Um, her dad, she is my dad, who has lived with us for 10 plus years. Dementia is having longer and longer episodes nowadays. Oh my goodness. Uh, Tracy, I am so sorry. I My mom lived with us for uh, 15 years before she went to be with the Lord. And um, I understand some of that. Um, I, I will pray for you. And, and Becky, again, if you could write that down um, on that list, uh, Tracy Fowler's dad, and just put dementia. Um, we'll know how to pray. Um, we have Sherry in the chat. She says, hello, hope everyone is having a great day. Um, and David Browning says, I don't like chainless foundation. I find it annoying. Yeah, I do too, David. <laughs> but you know what? You know, some people love that. They, I, I know, I know really good friends of mine. Um, a designer friend that I know very well, Doris Chan. Um, and if you ever want to look at her stuff, I mean, this is a, a not a paid in, endorsement at all. She's she's my friend. Um, take a look at her stuff. She does beautiful work. She loves. She lives and dies by that um, chainless foundation. And more power to her. You know, that's great. But, you know, I'm just not part of that camp. And it's just like one of those things. It's okay to disagree on this. You know, it's it's okay if, you know, you like blue, I like red or, you know, whatever. You know, or, or um, you know, you like yellow, I like green. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that in my, my way of looking at things. So, you know, it's whatever works for you. You know, like crochet hooks. Let me show you. Let me, let me show you that. I meant to do this last week. People are always asking me. What's, what's your favorite crochet hook, okay? I've got a link for these in my video description. It's an affiliate link, but you know, hey, it doesn't cost any more. Uh, I get these, um, it's where you can buy them from Amazon if you can't get them anywhere else. This is, this is my favorite hook in the whole wide world. Um, they have these at Joanne Fabrics. And, and you know, the reason I bring that up is, you know, sometimes people, people, you know, live and die by what kind of hooks they like. You know, it's just like buying shoes or something, whatever fits you best, that's great, use it. Um, but these, um, I'll, I'll take it out of the, I'll take it out of the package. Um, I, I just went to Joanne's this week because I couldn't find my J hook that was like this. I mean, look at this handle. Let me, let me hold it in front of the sign so you can see it better. I, and you can see the, the size quite clearly, but you know, it's just a regular Susan Bates hook and it has a little, little covering here. I, I think this cost me $2.99. I mean, that's like nothing. I think there are there there are more than that on Amazon, um, but and I've gotten them from Amazon because when I'm in South Carolina, there aren't Joanne fabrics. But you know, these are the best for me personally. Um, there are more expensive hooks out there. I've tried them. I I can't I can't do those more expensive hooks. I've tried them. They just they just don't work for me. I like this little flat spot here. This guides my my thumb 
and it keeps the hook exactly where I need. Okay, best hooks on the earth for Bonnie Barker. <laughs> of course, some of you may be a, you know, a diehard boy, B-O-Y-E um, brand. That's great. Some of you like the Tulip brands and you know, there's like, there's a, probably thousands of them out there now, but um, you know, great, great, great. You know, that's, you know, whatever you like, stick with it, whatever works best for you, stick with it, do it. All right. Uh, Ooh, that all that from David's comment about Chainless Foundation. See how the little, I get to go into the weeds quite a bit um, with the chat. Um, I'm just going to try to answer people's questions from here on out. Thank you, Angela, for, for praying for um, Carrie. Um, she says, it is heartbreaking not to be with family. I am, I am a, was that, I guess, PA in, in New York City. Oh, wow. I cry when I must tell family to leave. It's not the same, but use electronics like FaceTime, etc. Yeah, Angela, thank you for your service. Thank you for serving people, being a, um, a physician's assistant there. Um, yeah, Becky's telling me I am really far behind. Um, okay, so let me go ahead and skip some things here. But but again, Angela, thank you. Um, Oh, Cynthia says she got the Kelborn yarn for the Wheatfield cap caplet, cable caplet, and she loves it. Thank you. I'm so glad. I also ordered the straps. Yeah, Cynthia, the straps from that that person on Etsy are fabulous, and they're very, very affordable. Um, let's see. Guys, I'm going to try to catch up here. Okay, Rosa, okay, Morales. I don't know if you're still here. She says, okay, too many interruptions or comments. I have limited time, would like to learn something. Okay, Rosa, Rose, uh, this 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 particular time for us is kind of a chat, you know, just kind of hanging out time. Um, if you're wanting to learn something specific about crochet, I've got close to 600 other videos on my YouTube channel. Please check those out. Um, I'm sorry if you were misled to thinking I was going to demonstrate a, a stitch or something. This is just this is just relaxing chat time, um, time to support one another, time to just kick back and uh, you know. But anyway, uh, thanks for your comments. Um, check out the other videos. I've got tons of stuff. I can keep you busy into the next millennium. I think if you <laughs> watch them all. Um, so anyhow, um, Judy says, for some reason, my YouTube is signing me in my previous name. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure about that. What's going on? Um, thank you for your comments there, Kelly. Uh, and let's see, Esther is asking Becky a question. I'm going to skip over some of that. Yeah. David says he gets, he loves large projects, but, um, sometimes gets bored in the middle of them. Yep. That's what small projects are for. So we have distractions. Um, let's see. Just to let you guys know, I'm going to be skipping over some of these questions, but I do do read them when I'm off, you know, off the time, off, off the video. Um, what about a live crochet along? This is um, Yotes' question. I like, I like, see, like picking something and do it live and we can crochet the same thing along with you. Um, yo, know, that's a great idea. Um, I don't know that I'm suited for something like that. Um, just, just me trying to manage, you know, looking at you guys and looking at the comments and trying to be helpful with that and just hanging out. Um, I, I have tried that with, um, FaceTime lives. I do that sometimes with Annie's and I'm going to be scheduled for one coming up in December. Um, I, I can do that, but I think with the volume of comments and, and stuff, I just love reading your comments and, and greeting you guys. I just don't think it would be a good fit for me right now, but, but thank you for the idea. Um, I'll keep it in mind. I, I just think having a, a designated, well-filmed video purposing just to do specific techniques, I, I think just works better for my channel. Um, let's see. Oh, we have Darlene. She says, hi, Bonnie, this is Dolly. I am on my lunch. Want to see what was new today with the with you. Thank you so much for your inspiration with crochet. Oh, my pleasure. Um, let's see. I'm way behind, guys. I am going to skip a bit forward. Um, I do want to read. See, Archer Nace says, love the blanket. I've made that twice. Praying for everyone to be safe. 
And Brat's mom says, I am more than glad to give up housework to join everyone here. Yes, I am too. Uh, but I do need to, I love a clean house too. So it's kind of a tension there. Um, not that I ever have a clean house, but I do certainly love a clean house. <laughs> um, and Francis says, gee, Bonnie, I never thought I'd hear you swear. Swear? Housework is a very naughty word. <laughs> Thank you, Francis. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll have to remember that. I'll tell my husband that. That's a that's a swear word. Okay. <laughs> housework, housework, housework. I'll try that next time I get mad. <laughs> okay. Um, Brat's mom says, such a sacrifice to give up housework. Not. Uh, oh, gosh, you guys are so funny. Um, see, Becky's telling Esther about her fall at work. Um, and we get a big thumbs down from Leanne on housework. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Um, I've got a Spanish comment. Becky, if you could do run that through Google Translate for me. I, but I, I will say hey to Maribel. Hey, Maribel, thank you for joining us. Um, um, buenos dias. I know. Buenos, yeah, buenos dias. Yeah, that, that's right. It's still, still day. Good day, good day. Yeah, my Spanish is so rusty. Um, and Jacqueline is here. She says, late, but here. Well, Jacqueline, I am obviously late reading your comment. Thank you for being here. And um, we have Rachel from Kennesaw, Georgia, sitting at my office desk with a rare opportunity to join the day. Hey, Rachel. Um, my my, uh, my brother-in-law lives there in Kennesaw. He's probably one of your neighbors. Maybe you know him. I don't know. Um, and Brat's mom says, I wish... Oh, I just had a lot of things jump. I... Well, I'll just read this comment. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? My computer just jumped on me. Hold on. Hold on. I really wanted to read that comment, too. Okay, I am way behind. Guys, I am so far behind, so I'm going to have to just skip on ahead. We do have, is it Shiny? Uh, shiny, if I'm saying that right? Um, from India. Wow, thank you for joining us from India. Wow, that is amazing. Um, and... Oh yeah, thank you, Brad's mom. Just reminding us, don't forget to hit hit the like button if you can. I see 49 of you hit it already. Thank you. If you could hit that that thumbs up, that would be great. Uh, that does help the algorithm somehow. You know, those those, uh, those smarter people than me can understand all that. But you know, when people like a video, that really helps. And if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. I promise I'm not a spam a lot kind of a place. Um, and if you want to get notifications, hit that notification bell. My neighbor, Terry, was asking me. She said, Bonnie, I never get notifications from you. And she's like right next door. I said, well, you got to hit that little bell. If you hit that little bell, um, you will receive my notifications. And so what will happen is if you go onto your YouTube channel and if you hit that bell, um, you'll, you'll see a list of all the notifications from the channels that you hit the notification bell for. So um, I hope that's helpful. Uh, that's, those are just great tools there for all of us to use. Um, oh, David says he would love to go to Denver next year. I have a friend on the faculty at UC Bol at Boulder, not far away. Hey, David, yeah, check it out. It's going to be, uh, I think the second week in July. It's like July 13th through the 17th or something like that. Um, so definitely, yeah, if you can, if you can get there, I would, we can get a group of people to do lunch or something together. Um, uh, or, or maybe if I'm, I might be too busy, actually, if I'm teaching, I'm going to be swamped with that. But, um, you know, if I'm teaching, check out some of the classes. If I get selected, I don't know that they're going to pick my classes yet. Hey, Bobby's in the chat. Hey, Bobby's good to see you. Um, says hoping and praying things get back to normal here where I'm staying by Monday. He said, if nothing changes, we can go back to our regular rooms. Yay. I hope that works out for you, Bobby. Um, it's great to see you in the chat. I like your I like your um, your new logo there. Um, and Rita's watching the Celtic weave stitch to put onto her Celtic mandala throw. And Teresa says, I am first catching you on live chat. Okay, I think I read that one already. Um, but it's good to see you, Teresa. Thank you for joining us. Uh, uh, I'm going to skip ahead, guys. Um, David, again, says shopping date in Myrtle Beach. Hey, let me know. Let me know. We can do that. Um, make sure I'm there. <laughs> this might have to be after the holidays. Um, 
We have crochet time with Donna. Was it Ar Arsenal? She says, hello, everyone. Just popping in to say hello. Sorry, I can't stay. I will watch the replay. Okay. Um, thank you for your sweet comment, Patty. And um, let's see. Next Friday, Wanda Gordon says, next Friday will be second day of cooking for me. Husband's side of the family. Oh, boy. You're going to be busy. Wanda, I'm not sure what we're doing yet. I mean, I, I, don't, I might be doing the cooking next week. Uh, we'll see. Or, yeah. I uh, see so I have Tilwaukee Williams says, hello, Bonnie. I'm currently crocheting your Kelpie cross blanket. Oh, that's fantastic, Tilwaukee. Um, definitely send me a picture. I'd love to see that. If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, let's see. Da, da, da. We have Gina from Pennsylvania. Um, let's see. Brenda Rayburn. Um, Hi, Bonnie and everyone from Virginia. Hope you're Becky. Hope you're feeling better. Um, yeah, thank you for your sweet comment. Happy Thanksgiving to you too, Brenda. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, Lucia just tried ordering the noggins and necks. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. You know, um, Lucia, if you want to contact me, she just tried ordering from my Etsy store. Yeah, that is mostly, I only ship to the U.S. But if any, if, if you want to contact me, I can go online. Um, just contact me through my email. Um, and I can, maybe we can work something out. I just need to find out how much it would cost to the U ship, how much it would cost to ship to the UK, which is probably going to be more than the value of the books, unfortunately. Um, Lucia, what I would recommend if you wanted to get those, you can order from Amazon in the UK. They should have those in stock there. And it would be a, it would be a huge cost savings to you. Um, I did ship something to the UK once and it was it was far more than what the item cost that I was actually shipping. So that's kind of why I don't do that. But um, thanks for letting me know that so I could say something about that. Um, all right, so let me go ahead. Um, I, I'm going to have to skip over some of these because we are getting dangerously close. And I wanted to get, I didn't mean to wait this long. I wanted to show you some things that are on my channel already that you can crochet that are Fairly quick and easy. I mean, these aren't going to be, you know, 10-minute projects by any stretch. I showed this to you. I still haven't hidden my loose strands. Ah, but I'll, I'll show it to you this way. Remember the uh, the long stocking hat? And this is this is a really fun and, and a pretty good size hat, too. I mean, it, I'm going to mess up my hair. But, I mean, it works pretty well. I actually wore this to a football game um, a few years back, um, supporting our local team. And... Um, so that's on there, the long stocking hat. I have the I have links in the video description below. I have one that's just a talk about uh, the gifts themselves, the quick and easy gifts. And then there are two others below that would probably be more interesting for you. They're the they're simply a playlist, and you'll see you'll see one video, and you'll see to the right a to the right a whole list of videos, um, and you'll see the picture of these, and you can just click on them, and it'll show you how to crochet. We have the popcorn, I showed this to you last week, the popcorn, buttered popcorn hat. This is a, you know, reasonably, you know, I'm, I'm guessing three or four hour project, depending on how fast you crochet. Um, here is one, oh, I love this material too. This is, um, I think this is Cascade Yarns, uh, a really nice wool, but this is a nice cowl that you can, you can make. And, and you can make this bigger or smaller just by adding uh, multiples of four to the original starting chain. And these are really, really nice if you don't want to wear, you know, a long scarf that gets in the way. Um, here's another one. This is more of a summery fabric, but, you know, those of you living, you know, where the weather is warm, you know, you can wear this cotton kind of stuff all year. This is like a little, you know, a little scarf that you can wear, or you can just keep keep doing the repeats and you can make it into a nice, lovely, long um, shawl. And this is the, uh, I think the Red Heart cotton yarn that comes in a cake and it has, you know, the subtle color changes. That, that's what I used. I actually made two scarves out of one uh, cake of that. So very economical too. Um, here is one of my more favorite uh, videos. This is the cabled headband. And these crochet up lickety split. Um, you're talking, Johnny could probably do this in 45 minutes. Um, or, I mean, this, uh, maybe maybe an hour's worth at most. 
Uh, I think I've made, like, I can do this in like 30, 30 minutes. Um, and I, I used a bulky weight yarn, and this is a good yarn if you have like leftover, that, that Lion brand, what is it called, Homespun, works well with this. Uh, you know, you know kind of chunkier yarns for that. And, and of course you have Tribbles, guys, remember that? They came out last week. Um, they still smell really nice, but I have noticed that they tend to lose their potency when you leave them out in the open. So if you're gonna gift these Tribbles this year, I, I do have a suggestion that you wrap them, uh, put them in a Ziploc bag, and I think they're gonna do exceptionally well, put in airtight boxes with your yarn or you know places that are sealed. Um, I think if they're exposed to the air, all the time, I think they will, again, they will lose their oomph with the, the lavender smell. But there's tribbles on the site. Those those crochet up in like 15 minutes. And I kid you not, I got a whole box of stuff here. Um, this is the Tulip Stitch headband. And I used um, a very elastic uh, type of yarn. All that information are in the video descriptions of the videos. Oh, we've got another $10 donation. Wow, is that... Let's see who that from Joe Roxana. Thank you so much. That is so kind of you. So that's fifteen dollars towards the next song, guys. That's great. Um, thank you, thank you for your generosity there. I so appreciate that. So um, the tulip stitch, which is fairly easy. Um, it's a beginner level. It's this is a be easy beginner project. Um, this is a waffle stitch cowl, which is kind of fun. Um, you can probably make this out of any kind of yarn you would have in your stash. Um, it kind of, when you wear it, it kind of layers, uh, probably not, kind of, you know, kind of layers around like a cowl. It's a lot of fun if you're into, if you're into fringe and stuff like that. Um, works up very quickly, as you can see, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, all the way around. Very easy beginner, fun project. Um... I have some beginning knit projects on my channel too. This, this works up very well, very quickly. Um, it's a great project to start with if you are a beginning knitter, and I will show you how to do that. Um, here's, oh, this is crazy yarn I got at a yarn, at a yarn festival here in, uh, in Frederick a couple years ago. This is, it's kind of hard to see the stitch, but it's a basket weave headband and you know, has a nice elasticity to it with um, the wool that I used. Again, all videos already on the, already on the channel. Um, here's a beginning project where you learn the two stitch, which is um, double crochet, alternating double crochet, uh, single crochet made out of 100% of that dishy, dish, um, dishy kind of, uh, was it four ply? Uh, yarn that you get. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it anywhere. Um, this stuff is great. That's also what I used on the knit one as well. That just regular old generic kind of, um, yeah, cotton. And these things last forever. I mean, they they last a long time. The color might fade. It's going to fade with time. It will, especially if you're using strong detergent that you probably should to clean your dishes and everything. Here's another one, a knit a knit version. Um, again, using that very economical, i.e. cheap, 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 100% um, cotton dishcloth. Do not try making dishcloths with acrylic. I just want to say that right up front. Don't use anything but 100% cotton. If you do, you'll find out the first time you use it. It will not hold up at all. It will rip up right in front of you. And here's here's the another one that's, um, again, the same pattern, just different, different. This is a solid color of the same knit one. Now... Those of you who are brand new to crocheting and you want to learn how to read patterns, um, check out this. This would be a really good get. And these are all great gifts. You know, you could you know make them for the people you know in your office, at schools, teachers, whatever. And these crochet up pretty quickly. Again, I'm, I'm guessing about 45 minutes, maybe to an hour for most of us. Um, and this one, this is the round dishcloth. Again, using that that cheap bowl, you know, uh, peaches and cream kind of uh, four ply or, or number four worsted weight uh, cotton yarn um, or Aran size for those of you in the UK, Aran weight. Um, and, and for this particular video, I, I go step by step reading along with the pattern. I actually show you the line, 
read the line to you and then and then you know show you what that looks like in real life you know in real you know real time so if you want to learn how to read a very basic crochet pattern start with this okay and um here's some other colors i've used to make the same the same um dishcloth i made a ton of these one year and gave to the people in our our church and, and their friends and so forth if you want something a little finer this is a little bit finer um, of, a, of a type of cotton. This is not your, your dishcloth cotton, but this is more like, like kind of like a spa cloth that, that we had on the channel. This is a different, uh, different design, okay? And this is also on my channel. I did that a while back. Uh, if you're looking for a beret, I have a beret, and this is the inside. I would put that on, but I'd look ridiculous in it. Um, Becky is really good. She can rock these things. So that's the, it a, has a braided cable. Um, here's something a little bit longer, takes a little bit longer, but made, again, using that cotton yarn. This is a backpack that I've actually, actually taken with me on trips um, using paracord for the, um, for the straps. And I used little decorative you know, little beads at the end. And um, and this is um, using the, okay, I'll show you the back side of this. Okay, the stitch that I mostly use besides, you know, the cables on the front is the, the, the two stitch, you know, the single crochet, double crochet, alternating back and forth, which I just, I just love the way it looks. So, you know, these are very easy and, and I didn't even line this one. I used it without lining it, but you can put a liner in it as well. Um, we also have, um, we have a very long scarf. It's kind of hard to see this, the way the color came out, but um, this is an infinity scarf. It's all connected. So it's one of these where, and it's using the ripple stitch. And I did this one for a beginner, so the beginner could use it, could learn how to do this. So it's one of these, you know, where you can wrap around and around. You know, you can wrap it around quite a bit, you know, play with it, or maybe even just, you know, just a couple of wraps and just, you know, have it a little bit longer. You get the idea. Ugh. And let's see, one more. I'll show you one more. I know there's a lot of stuff I'm throwing at you, but I just wanted to get through this. Um, and this is a, like an easy beginner um, knit where I, you, you learn how to do both. Um, I guess this would be the, the stockinette stitch where you knit one side and then you purl the next and it just uses the the knit knitting on the edges so it's you know if you're interested in learning something new um i've got that and it's not as hard as you think i'll just say that because i used to think oh i'll never learn this but i managed to learn it and um i'm really i'm really excited to show you my next project at some point but I need to get a little bit down the path on on working it. All right, so let's see. Oh, Johnny just said, Becky, I just sent Santa a note. You'll be getting a new knee this Christmas. That's hilarious. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you for your, your comment there. That is so fun. I wish it was that easy. Um, but but God is at work. God is working on Becky. She's working. You know, he, he, he works through situations like this, even though they're not fun. But um, yeah, let's thank you for your prayers for her. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm just going to skip down. I'm going to have to skip a bunch of things there. Hey, Terry. I see Terry's in the chat. Um, uh, yes, Bobby. I've got your book ready to go, my friend. Uh, looks like I'm going to be making a trip to the post office this afternoon. I saw a couple orders come in. Thank you guys. Um, so I will get that out to you. Um, and is it Thera or Tara? I don't know if the H is silent or not. Um, it says made some small pouches and flowers for my friends for Christmas. That's, that's, that's a fun idea. I love those little flowers. I, I still have the flowers that people made for me, like little pins and things um, that I've gotten from people at conferences. I, I wear them wherever I can. Um, oh, Johnny says he buys these hooks on eBay. I'll have to look for them on eBay. That's a great idea. They're practically indestructible. You know, they last forever. Um, 
Yeah, David wants to know, does that doctor in Georgia who plays Rachmaninoff have a YouTube channel or his website? No, I'm sorry, David, he doesn't. Um, does not. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. I'm just jumping around here. Um, and Margie wants to know, what would I do a blanket using the waffle stitch? Uh the waffle stitch the way I did it in this cowl, I probably wouldn't because it wouldn't be a very substantial blanket. Um, but thanks for the idea anyway. Hold on a second. Becky has a question for me. Okay, Becky, thank you. Um, hold on a second. And Brat's mom says, I love the old boy hooks, but I have some newer ones and I don't like them at all. They are made in Mexico and not all the sizes run true. Hmm. You know, I, I'm actually, it's interesting you mentioned that because I, I'm working with a, a Susan Bates hook that's kind of different too. And it has a bamboo handle and um, I've been working with it, but I'm going to make a trip to the store and get some of these soft ones in that size, probably this afternoon because I'm recording with this other bamboo handle and it keeps hanging up. It's just not working right for me and I'm not sure why, but I think the angle of the top, the, um, the angle of the actual hook up in here is just slightly elongated than what I'm used to. And I am picky, picky, picky. <laughs> so I am gonna go out and buy me a couple more just so that I have them in that size. I, I lost, I couldn't find my soft in the H size. Of course, you know, whenever you need a particular size, you can find every size but that one. That that happens to me so much, but anyway. Oh, Emily wants to know, and we're going to set the new blanket. I'm not sure which one you're talking about, Emily, but I'm going to keep the one we're working on. Hush, hush, just for a little bit. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, Kimberly has a question. I am crocheting a blanket for my mom. Herringbone have double stitch part of the stitch has come out. How do I fix it? That's a good question, Kimberly. Um, that might be something you'd have to sit down with somebody. I mean, you can send me a picture and I can take a look at it. Um, uh, you might be able to fix that somehow. I mean, I'm not sure you'd be able to fix it without it being shown, be being seen, but um, but uh, send me a picture and I'll see what I can what I can do. Or you could even go to a, a local yarn store and see what you can find out. Um, okay, let me see. Jane Scott has a question. Um, could you please remind me which book of yours has the poncho with the basket weave in, please? I'd really love to have a go at that. Okay, put the thinking cap on. The basket weave. I'm trying to think. I'm not sure which one. Is it? Okay. Is it the one, if, if you're talking about the one with multiple colors, um, it would be this one, the self-striping project. Okay, let me just answer this question real quick, guys. Thanks for your patience. If you're talking about this one with the basket weave, it's the self-striping projects. So I hope that answers the question. I have made so many ponchos. Um, I can't get enough. <laughs> I wear them all the time. Um, anyway, I'll never forget the time I was at a conference. It was my very first conference. I was wearing a poncho and um, this lady came up to me and she just said, you do know that ponchos are out now, don't you? They're not in fashion at all. And I just looked at her and said, okay, <laughs> so what am I supposed to do? Um, Becky, I'll tell you if you ever meet any either of us, I have kind of a rebellious streak. You know, if I like something, I wear it. If I like to do something, I do it, provided it's legal and all. Um, 
I have never stopped wearing ponchos since the 1970s. So, but what was interesting was when that lady told me that I was out shopping that fall with my daughter and what do we see everywhere? Ponchos. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm so glad we can live life the way we want to, don't, aren't you all? And we don't have to live it just to please everybody else. So anyway, okay, I'm getting a little, little opinionated here, but <laughs> I have to tell you that story. Don't you know the ponchos are out? And I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not living for that person's opinion. I'm living for me, for my family, you know, for the Lord. So anyway, uh, he hadn't told me that they're out yet, so we're, we're good. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, I hope that's the right one you're looking for, Jane. Sorry to go on and on about that. Um, let's see. Kimberly wants to know, where's your email address so I could find it and send you a picture? It's in the video description below. If you don't, if you're, if you're viewing this from a phone, there's a little triangle. I think you have to click on that triangle and it turns a little bit and then it'll reveal a bunch of um, stuff a bunch of links and things below. And um, it, it should be right there, but uh, I'll go ahead and put it in the group chat right now in case you, you don't see it there. I'll put it right here. Okay, Becky says that was the right poncho. Thank you, Becky. Uh, yeah, it took me a minute to think about that because simply because I don't have one like that I could wear, I need to make one in my spare time. Um, and Gail, okay, Gail has a good point. Says, I've done several of the round dishcloths with which work well as hot pads. Yes, they do. I use them for hot pads too, Gail. And what's really nice is when something spills over onto your hot pad, if you use that cotton one, you can just pick it up and put it in a washing machine and then, you know, it's good to go. Um, we have Jeanette from Oklahoma. And you know what, guys? It is getting late, so I'm probably going to have to get ready to go here. Um... Oh, Johnny says my he says his favorite poncho is the one with the faux fur collar he just made. Yeah, yeah I, I love the color that you picked on that, Johnny. That was a, a rich looking color. He picked this, I posted it on my Facebook page and it got a lot of love from a lot of people. Um, it's kind of a, 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 a pecanish brown color, beautiful, rich looking color. And it, the, the fur that you chose was really nice too on that. Um, but yeah, I, I left that one in South Carolina, so I can wear that in warmer weather. <laughs> Here, I'm I'm already into lots of layers, um, and the poncho goes on top of all those other layers. But um, yeah, I'm going to wear that one in South Carolina when I get down there. Um, Barbara says I make I make ponchos every winter, pure fun. I'm a child of the '60s, and Mom made us ponchos, lots of fringe too. Absolutely, Barbara. The more, <laughs> the more fringe, the better. Um, I've got this jacket I picked up at a, at a, where was it, at this, this store. Oh, come on, Becky, my brain is going. Um, at a thrift store um, that they have at, at our local hospital. And they, ha they have the, the best ladies that work there. They pick out the really nice things. It's kind of like, they, they sell donations, basically. And being a child of the 60s, myself, um, I found a suede, I mean, this is a real suede, uh, not a poncho, but a jacket with the long fringe on it. You know what I'm talking about? The ones they still wear out in places like Arizona. Oh, I would love to be there in Arizona. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I got it for like 25 bucks. And I, this is like a, a jacket that sells for probably 500 if you find them in the stores. And I saw that and it was my size and I've had it in my closet for the last 15 years. Um, it's kind of hard to know when to wear it. Um, but because some people feel so strange, you know, they, they're kind of weird about leather sometimes, but I'm not. And uh, I, I love wearing that thing. And just again, Barbara, the fringe, oh, the fringe is amazing. I love it. Well, I think guys, it's getting close to that bewitching hour. I need to get going. Um, but I did wanted to read you something, just a little something today. Um, I got to share this with Terry yesterday. Um, we had a great time visiting and um, with my neighbor. Um, but I just wanted to leave this with you. Um, it's, it's some verses from, from the good book. Um, this is from the book of Jeremiah, uh, chapter 17. And this reminded me a lot of Psalm 1, but it's, this is Jeremiah 17. And I hope this encourages you. 
Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. He is like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when heat comes, for its leaves remain green and is not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. So I hope that encourages you today. I hope that you know, gives you something to think on, you know, when the news is not so good. Um, let's just keep our eyes up and, you know, looking out. God bless you guys. Take care. See you next week. Bye-bye.